Hello everybody, my name is Katie Roderick and I am the librarian at Timberline Elementary School and today I am going to be showing you how to use OverDrive and Sora on your Chromebook or computer in your Chrome browser. You don't need to download anything. Now this is the only way our students are going to have to access books during remote learning so we need to make sure we are familiar with this resource so we can promote it for students and they can have books to read until they get to come back. Uh, all you have to do is go to class link which you can see I'm already in class link and once you're there we are going to look for the learning commons resources folder. Um, here it says right here learning commons resources you can also look for the brain pop logos and just click on that folder to open it and we are looking for overdrive which is right down here you see that nice O logo and we can click on that and class link will automatically log us in which is great um, overdrive is a way to read ebooks or listen to audiobooks so you can see this one has a book in the corner it is an ebook this one has headphones in the corner. It is an audiobook. Students can browse for books right here. This uh, shows some of the popular collections are Blue Bonnet books for elementary and middle, most popular books, new editions, and so forth. They can also click this button to see the collections. Or they can browse by subject. So if you know, for example, that you are looking for a book on folklore for your students, they can browse by subject and they can also filter right here especially for our younger students they may want to filter by um, grade level right over here but most of us won't need to do that you, they can also browse by levels but I don't recommend subject and the collections are the best way to browse they can also search for a specific book they want so if they know that they are a huge dogman fan they can search for dogman and look at all the dogman books we have available and students who are interested in reading a book can hit the blue borrow button now um, I'm going to show you a book called the Bridge Home, which was a blue bonnet book this year and was just fantastic because this one has an ebook and an audiobook. Um, teachers, please do not hit the blue borrow button. Instead, I want you to hit the sample button. And what the sample is going to do is it's going to show you what the book looks like on the inside and allow you to read a chapter or so so you can look and see if this is a book that you or your students might be interested in. All you have to do to turn the page is click on the side, click on the other side to go back. And that opened it in a new tab so you can go back to OverDrive just by going back to your old tab. Um, same, we have the same thing for audiobooks. Guys, this is so cool. Look at this. We can listen to audiobooks and read ebooks in our browser without downloading anything. The Listening Library presents The Bridge Home. This okay, and our students have access to that too. That, this is so awesome. And they have the audiobook and the ebook of this book. It's great. Um, so if a student does decide they want to borrow a book, or if you want to borrow a book so you can read it and discuss it with your students, um, you can hit the blue borrow button. And um, then I, you have checked that book out. No one else is going to be able to check out that book while you have it. So make sure um, that when you're done, you, uh, you go to your account. And when you are done reading it, look, I can read it in my browser. Some books will allow us to temporarily download or read in our Kindle, but not all. I suggest reading it in your browser. Um, and you can read it in your browser whenever you are ready. When you are done reading it, please don't just leave it there. Make sure you return the title, okay? That way other students can read it. Yes, I want to return the title. The other thing I want to show you is if you found a book and you have a student that you think is going to really like this book, you can share the individual book with that student. So if I know I have a kid who I think would love The Bridge Home, all I did was click on the picture of the book, not the word borrow, but just the picture of the book. You can share this link right here by copying it and pasting it into an email or a message to that student. And that student will be able to 
view the same book. Now, folks, please do not send this to your entire class. You can see we only have two copies of this book for the district. So you are not going to be able to share books for your entire class this way. This is for pleasure reading, um, but it's a great resource for our kids. Um, go ahead, click around, give it a try. Again, that is Overdrive, um, which is in the Learning Commons folder in your class link. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.